What's up, Jacksonville? Dan Hick and the media mogul here, ready to give you a rundown of all things Jacksonville sports this weekend. We love to start with our Jacksonville Jaguars, and the coaching search continues. Should we deduce a few things? Like, if they were going to hire a Doug Peterson or a Jim Caldwell, who are available right now, maybe they would already be announced? I wonder, right? I mean, so no Peterson, no Caldwell. We know that Matt Eberflus is getting a second interview. Um, if there's no coach named anytime soon, should we deduce that the coach is currently coaching in the postseason, i.e. Byron Leftwich? Byron! Nathaniel Hackett, one of those type guys? Uh, who knows, right, with Shad Khan? Very tight circle. Trent Falke included. Uh, Who knows what's going to happen with the head coach? And quite frankly, at this point, I will support the new head coach, certainly. I want the Jags to win. I want the Jags to do well. But they're going to have to show us something to make us believe, right? How many times have we gotten sucked in? And whoever you hire, you can make a, you can lay out some stats and an argument and say, hey, Matt Eberflus, what a great hire. He had the eighth best defense in the NFL. He's known to build culture. He, you know, you can put all that, all those tangible things down if you want. His team led the NFL in turnovers. But until they win three or four games in a row, three or four in a row, which NFL teams do do, not our team, but our franchise, but most NFL teams do do, then I'm not going to say a whole lot in terms of what I think of said person as a coach. I still would lean towards offense because the most important thing is Trevor Lawrence. And I think you have to, if you interview an offensive guy, then you know what the offensive plan is. If you hire a defensive guy, you're adding like almost another layer to the offense. Like who's going to be your OC? What kind of offense are you going to run? You know, those types of questions, which you'll ask, but are you going to hear what you want to hear? So anyway, we'll see going forward. And again, as I've said all along and maintained it, in my opinion, Trent Balke is going to be the general manager of this club in 2022. All right, enough of that. Here's one thing I love. And he hasn't coached the game yet. And again, I don't know. I don't know what kind of coach he is. But I love what kind of leader Billy Napier is. I love it. Uh, If you like recruiting or follow recruiting and understand that recruiting is the lifeblood of college football, then how can you not love what Billy Napier is doing? Huge staff like Alabama, like Georgia, like Clemson. If you can't beat them, join them. Love that. Uh, Parking tickets? No, we'll take care of that. Food? We'll take care of that. Housing? We're going to stay here. This is the nicest place I can find on campus for our, for our football players. We'll stay here. Uh, I saw a video this morning of Billy Napier going to meet a recruit. The guy who just been there, Kirby Smart. Hey, we're chasing Kirby, but at least we're chasing. At least we're going to the same places, right? So when we start getting those guys... That's when I know we're going to be back. So I like what's going I really like what's going on in Florida. Now, we open with Utah. Ask me again after the Gators play Utah, and we'll see. But for now, I'm, I'm excited working the transfer portal. Speaking of the transfer portal, um, that's what Tallahassee, that's what Mike Norvell's done extremely well. It's a quick fix. Listen, it's not going to win you championships, but it's going to keep you competitive. And I think for now, that's what Mike Norvell's doing until he can get recruiting going uh, better. Locally, let's talk about high school basketball. Great game the other night. Providence and Nice, two great programs, both winning this year. Providence outlasted Nice. Defensive struggle, 33-31. I don't think Providence made a field goal in the first quarter and still won the game. So uh, there's always a great basketball game on the docket. There are a lot of good basketball teams. Go check those out. Both guys and ladies. Uh, uh, it's terrific right now. And by the way, baseball starts, high school baseball starts Monday. So that's an exciting time as well. That's all we got today, ladies and gentlemen. Kick back, enjoy the weekend. Let's get a little more warm weather. And we'll see you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports.